I am pretending to be smart in this video. This is all theory or speculation made for entertainment purposes and slash or views. Enjoy. First, seven sentences including this one. Yes, this is a scripted video, so please, no replies until the end. No, I did not get permission from Burkle to make this video. Yes, I will take this video down if Burkle says to. I'm not messaging him with this video. No, this is not an attack slash endorsement of G Fuel slash Burkle slash Kingsman Jones video. No, this does not endorse alcohol consumption. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Okay, topic of the video. Cloudy lemonade is, by almost definition, lemonade with alcohol or vinegar. Yes, I looked it up after making most of the script. But I started thinking, Cloudy Lemonade is a meme drink, made up by a YouTuber called Burkle. Maybe. What is Cloudy Lemonade courtesy of Burkle? Or more precisely, what does Cloudy Lemonade behave like that comes from Burkle's blood, sweat, and tears? Well, today, let's attempt to find that out with simple stats. I imagine Cloudy Lemonade to be a semi-ever-changing flavor to fit Burkle's propositions to the public and private. We can't change that, but we can define the flavor, or in this case flavors, as an equation. Let's describe Burkle's image, and from there make a flavor of Cloudy Lemonade. 1. He always asks his viewers not to message the people in his videos. At all? 2. He hates pride slash bravado without just cause. 3. He only re his only regards character is Kingsman Jones. This makes up 31% of his present video content. Now let's describe Cloudy using the only thing with clouds around it, the air. 1. A hint of something is described as one part per, for the sake of this video, 20 parts. 2. The clouds appear in a range of 0 feet to 13,000 feet above the ground. Credit WolframAlpha.com 3. Their average range is 9,109 feet to 29,725 feet above the ground. Credit roll from Alpha and a calculator. I'll spare you the math and say for every 100 parts, about 16 parts are being the cloudy portion of cloudy lemonade would suffice. Now to make our drink. Let's say that Burkhold was so popular and has so much weight in the community of drinks that Burkhold gets to make a 600 part formula, saying that they would give him 1,000 parts in total freedom, but they want to test the waters with Burkhold first. Now for a couple of facts, facts or more of how tithings work. 1. Church tithings are figured to be 1 tenth, typically. 2. Tipping the waitress is figured to be 12%. 3. A hint of something is considered to be 1 20th for the sake of this video. 4. Trolls exist and will stop at nothing to corrupt, deviate from, or twist the deals of tidings despite how cheap they are. The equation for community born creative freedom and a flavor of drink therefore might look like this. Tithing times, left parenthesis, trust plus, trust times, positive bias not from trust, right parenthesis. Since Burkle's positive bias not from trust is imaginably zero, we can shorten the equation to tithing times trust. And the sciencey name for a hint is basically a conveniently measurable nine infinitesimal portion, or just enough for taste by about anyone. But I made a hint bigger than normal for the sake of this video. Now let's say for a flat rate 
Burkle finally opens up to his fans open-heartedly, but not to the point of being dumb, because, well, it's Burkle. Do you really expect him to be dumb if you saw his videos? I don't know. Maybe Burkle is holding a book signing for all of his fans and decides to treat them to something, and decides to let the fans vote on six parts of the formula, about one half a hint and that the flavors in those six parts are controlled by G Fuel. Nothing crazy like steak flavor or ink stains the skeleton's flavor. That leaves 594 parts we can still calculate. Unless G Fuel is basically like, okay, you want to give your fans the ground floor in six parts? Why didn't you say so? Well, up the part count to 606. This would mean that 99 0.009901% of cloudy lemonade is actually cloudy lemonade. Now for some more math. To figure out the cloudy and cloudy lemonade, we, will, we have to do some subtraction followed by division. This is where our average cloud altitudes and absolute cloud range comes in. 29,725 feet minus 9,109 feet divided by 130,000 feet is 15.85846% or 96 parts of 606 parts. 594 parts minus 96 parts is 498 parts. I imagine 30 of the 96 parts would be a sweet cold flavor by Kingsman Jones, one of Verkle's signature creative characters. Since 31% of 96 is rounded up is 30. Probably a flavor reminiscent of a Hakai with spikes running through it. Maybe grapefruit punch? Three parts would probably be cotton candy or generic pudding for the cloudy part, because Dragon Ball Z movies. This means a total of 96 plus 6 minus 31 minus 3 equals 68 parts of the cloudy lemonade is a complete mystery. Now then, the 6 parts fan base chosen ingredients to cloudy lemonade, that in fact is a flexible number. I won't go over the quantum mechanics extended to the macro world, but I assume that the equation for the max number of parts that Burkle would, Burkle would loan is roughly between a quarter to a third of the square root of the parts to the community for choice if Burkle gets over 100 parts of the formula to do with pre or post loan proposition. One part if Burkle gets over 40 parts to do with otherwise, and zero if Burkle gets 40 parts to do with, with a special case of two if Burkle gets 42 parts or 40 parts to do with. If Burkle gets a complicated prime number higher than 10,000 in parts, Burkle might not invent the flavor in real life at all in my opinion. Now say that the number of parts that the community is in charge of is actually a diluting number of parts. I have an equation for that as well. This is all hypothetical or theoretical, of course. For every 5,000 to 10,000 drinks of cloudy lemonade sold, they would recalculate the flavor. They would actually remove the fans' parts from a formula as they go. And this next part is important. I think this video not calculating this sentence would impact the final decision on the diluting resolution if that exists at all, but not whether or not to include the fans' choices in the creation of the flavor. Is this video dumb? In my opinion, yes. Let me know what you think a meme-themed cloudy lemonade would be in the comments if you would like to.